and welcome back to the channel. Today we have something completely different for you in that I am in an electric car and it is a BMW i3 S. Now, as you know, electric cars are on the rise now and after a good few years, we won't be able to buy internal combustion engines anymore. So we thought we'd embrace the electric revolution and start getting involved in electric cars. So this car I bought for my wife because we needed to replace her car and I thought the i3 would be a good car to use around town and for doing trips into central London. So the first time I actually borrowed one of these cars from Park Lane, the guy said to me, be careful, they're really fast, faster than you think. And I was like, do you know who I am? Do you know what cars I drive? It's not gonna be a problem. And honestly, the first time I got into the car and put my foot down, I nearly went into the car in front of me. So yeah, the acceleration like from low down is, is pretty insane, like naught to 50 miles an hour. These things are really quick. They do retain the kind of BMW feel. So in, though the interior is quite space age, I do feel like I'm still driving a BMW. The car does sit quite high and so it's a little bit wallowy, but I wouldn't expect it to be a real performance model. The i3S does feel sportier to drive than the normal one and it's that little bit faster. And the stock car does come with 20 inch wheels so the ride is a little bit harsher than the normal version but we can live with it as a family. My kids don't complain, my wife doesn't complain too much which means that it's okay. So today what we're gonna do is we're gonna slightly modify this i3S by putting some lowering springs on it, see if we can take that wallowing away slightly and make it handle a little bit better but also I've got a very special set of wheels if you guys are following the channel you would have seen I made a render of an i3s probably about a year and a half ago with a body kit and some wheels and the idea is to actually make that render into a reality so I've designed the kit that's in the final stages of the CAD so we can actually get that made but the wheels are now a reality We've made them in two piece. Uh, if we go to production, we'll try and find a cheaper way to make them because they're incredibly expensive in the way we've done them to prototype them. And the springs, we're gonna test on this car and if we're happy with them, then they'll be actually a product that you can buy. So I'm gonna head over to the workshop now, let the guys get started on the suspension and the wheels and I'll join you guys afterwards. So we've got the i3S back in the workshop. We're gonna take a quick look at what we're putting on today. So we've got the two piece 660 design wheels and they are in the shuriken design. So these are the same wheels that we've got on our F80 M3 and F90 M5. These are two piece. I did want to make them in one piece but we just couldn't get the forgings. So they've ended up being very expensive because no one had the barrels for the wheels that are this narrow. So these are done in stock sizes and stock offsets. I'm not that concerned about the weight. I think they're gonna be a little bit heavier than stock, but we will weigh them to check them out. But with this car, because it does so many short journeys, I'm not really concerned about the range. I just want it to look really cool. So to help with the stance of the car, we've got these springs. These are prototypes at the moment. They should lower 15 to 20 mil. The idea with these is that we put them on, see how much they're lowering a car by, see what the ride is like. And if we need to tweak anything, we will. But the idea is that this will become an evolved product and we'll be able to provide them to i3 and i3s owners everywhere. So let's get these on the car. I'm really excited to see what it's going to look like.
suspension and wheels on, let's go take this little car for a drive and see what it's like. So the idea with the suspension is mainly aesthetic to lower the car down, give it a bit of a better stance and make sure the ride quality is about the same as stock. And to be fair, driving along the same road, it, there's no real discernible difference. I wouldn't say it's any stiffer than stock. If it is, it's a very slight difference. They're still riding over the bumps very nicely. And with the added improvement of, it's got a lot less body roll. So it has improved it in the handling department because the car does sit quite high up it's got a high center of gravity so it did roll around quite a bit on these roads but actually seems to be an improvement which is a good thing um, the wheels themselves they look absolutely fantastic they are slightly heavier than the stock wheels so I'd probably in theory expect a little bit of deterioration in the range but as I said I'm not too fussed about that this car doesn't do any more than 30 miles in one go so it's not going to be a problem but it has completely changed the look of this car if you follow the channel you know that we modify everything and I couldn't leave the i3 standard had to have some visual mods and I'm really looking forward to completing them with the aero kit so I'm gonna head back to the workshop now and show you guys what the car looks like in its current form <laughs> So I hope you've enjoyed our little video with the i3s. It's very different to what we're used to, but you know we have to embrace going forward that a lot of our customers are going to be buying EV cars and we're ready to service them as well. I think this looks really good now with a slight drop and the wheels, and I'm really happy that the car does ride the way it was riding before, but the handling's just been improved that a little bit more. Next stage for this car is to design the Evero kit I have actually concepted that so it's going to be a case of designing that in CAD 3d printing it fitting it on the car making sure everything's good and then we'll go forward with carbon production but I'm really excited to see what this is going to look like when it's fully complete thank you so much for watching guys if you like the video please remember to smash that like button and if you haven't already please subscribe to our channel if you want to join the conversation please drop a comment below and we'll try our best to respond to you if you want to watch more of this project, you can do so over here. If you want to watch what YouTube thinks you might like from our other content, you can do so over here.